Good day, brothers and sisters. Compliment of the season to everyone out there. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God protect you. May God honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. You are welcome to the 24th day of December 2022. The last month of the year. We want to thank God for bringing us this far. We want to thank God for his unfailing hands. You are welcome to morning devotion. Let us pray. Our dear Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift you up. Father, we bow down before you. Father, we adore your holy name. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for bringing us to this day. It's not because we are good. It's not because we can pray. It's not because we are doing the right thing that we are alive. It's because of your grace and mercy that is keeping us alive. Father, we adore you. We bow down before you forever. We lift up your name above all other things. King of glory, we thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to us. We thank you because that's the greatest gift that you gave to us. Father, we thank you for your kindness towards us, for all that you do, for your banner over us, for keeping us safe. Father, we appreciate you. We give you glory. We say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If all the hair on our head is to be mouth, it's not enough to thank you for all that you do for us, for our household, for my viewer out there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father Jehovah, we have come to you again. We have come to pray to you, Lord Jesus. Father, give us strength to pray. Give us power, O oh Lord, to be in tune with you, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' holy name, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Prayer is the key, my brothers and sisters out there. My viewers out there. Prayer is the key. If you can pray, you always be in tune with God. If you can pray, your mountains will be level. If you can pray, your predicaments will be taken away. If you can pray, your problem will cease to exist. If you can pray and you learn how to magnify Jesus above all your problems, your situation will, will, will be changed. Your life will be changed. Things will change around you because the hand of God will always be upon you. Praise the Lord. I'm going to title today's prayer as Benefits of Praying. Benefits of Praying. My dear brothers and sisters, what you get when you can pray, the benefits. God's hand will never depart from you. The power of God will always be with you. Wherever you are, the presence of God will not depart from you. Whatever you are going through, God will step into it and change situation around when you can pray. My brothers and sisters, those are the benefits. Because the Bible said the Lord will take care of you. Exodus 14, 14. He said he will fight all your battles and you, will, you shall hold your peace. He said he will deliver you from everything you are going through. That is the God we have. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to see the first one from Psalm 108. Verse 6, that your beloved may be delivered, save with your right hand and hear me. That your beloved may be delivered. Who are God's beloved? It's you and I, my viewers out there. We are the beloved of God. We may be delivered. God will save us with his right hand and he will hear us when they call, we call upon him. Viewers, my brother, we're going to pray now. We're going to thank God to deliver us, to save us with his right hand and hear us when we pray. 
Pray, uh, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, my Father, deliver us, O oh Lord. We are your beloved one. Deliver us. Save us with your right hand. And hear us when we pray. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, hear my prayer. Oh, God, hear my viewers out there prayer. Our household, my brothers and sisters out there. I pray this day. You are the beloved child of God. For God to deliver you. For God's right hand to, to, to be upon you. And for God to hear you. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray, my beloved. Oh God, my Father, deliver me, deliver my audience, deliver my viewers out there, deliver our household, save us with your right hand, and hear us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh God, hear our prayers, oh God, hear our prayers, in the name of Jesus, when God hear your prayer, your life will not be the same, when God delivered you, you will not be held captive, when God's right hand is placed upon you, things will work for you, you will, not be, you will never be the same, in the name of Jesus, oh God, deliver Deliver my viewers out there. Place your right hand upon them. Hear them, O Lord. Hear us, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to look at Psalm 108, verse 12. Psalm 108, verse 12. It says, Give us help from trouble, for the help of man is useless. Praise the Lord. When you compare the help of man to that of God, the help of man is useless. Man cannot help you. But when God help you when you are in trouble, then you will become trouble free. So my beloved, tell God to, to, to help you in, when you are in trouble. For the help of man is useless to you. No man can help you. They cannot even help themselves. So pray this prayer. Oh God, my Father, give us help from trouble. In the name of Jesus, New King James Version say, God will give us help from trouble. For the help of man is useless. Father, we depend on your help. Oh God, give us help. Oh God, give us help. Oh Lord, give us help from trouble. In the name of Jesus, when God help us when we are in trouble, we we'll become trouble free. When God step into a situation, the situation must give way. In the name of Jesus, that was how when that woman would the issue of blood was in trouble when she was able to touch the hem of Jesus garment that bleeding storm that is the kind of help from God when God touch you you will never be the same your situation must bow down oh God my father give us help from trouble give us oh Lord give us oh Lord give us help for the help of man is useless we depend on you oh Lord in Jesus holy name we pray amen beloved Pray this next prayer very well. Psalm 112 verse 4. Psalm 112 verse 4. It says, Unto the upright there arises light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. Who is gracious? Our Father is gracious. He is full of compassion and is a righteous God. Unto the upright, there arises light in the darkness. My beloved, what darkness is covering you? There's, the, the light of God is going to arise in, in, and, and put light in your darkness. Whatever darkness you are going through, is it darkness of sickness? Is it ga, uh, uh, darkness of poverty? Is it darkness of want? Whatever you want, whatever that is not glorifying God, it's a darkness. The Lord Almighty has told you now, it's going to arise light in that your darkness. God is going to touch you because our God is gracious. Because he's full of compassion. So we're going to pray now. Tell God whatever darkness you are going through. Tell God to arise and light, put light in that darkness. Oh God, my Father, whatever darkness I'm going through, whatever darkness that my audience are going through that is in our life, oh God, arise and put light in our darkness. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Arise, O Lord. Arise, O Lord. Put darkness, a, a light in our darkness. Take darkness away and replace it with light for all. In the name of Jesus, Father Jehovah, you are a gracious Father. You are full of compassion. Oh Lord, have compassion on us. Bring gracious to us, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, you are a righteous God. Father in heaven, there is nothing you cannot do. Father, put light in our darkness. When light comes in, darkness vanishes. You darkness in my life, in my audience's life, in our family's life. I cast you out. In the name of Jesus, I cast you out, I cast you out in Jesus' holy name. I pray, my beloved. The next prayer point is uh, Psalm 113, verse 2. It says, 
Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to his going down, the Lord's name is to be praised. My dear brothers and sisters, when you learn to praise God, you the hand of God will never depart from you. The presence of God will never depart from you. So let, learn to praise God. Bless God forever, my beloved. Don't throw away your Bible. No matter what you are going through, God is in the business of uh, doing miracle. God can change your situation around. Don't kill yourself. Whatever you are going through, there's no what dying for let to praise God let your situation praise God and dog king of glory above your predicament above your problem bring down your problem and lift up Jesus when you do that your problem will be solved so my dear brothers and sisters so let us praise God oh Lord we praise you we adore you we are we honor you Lord from the rising of the sun to is going down the Lord's name is to be praised father we praise you father we bless your name father we honor you forever you are God, whatever we are going through, Father, step into Him. Change situation around for all. Turn it around so that Your name forever will be glorified. In the name of Jesus, thank You, Jesus, because You have done that. In Jesus' holy name, I pray. Amen. Psalm one one three, verse three says, "Bless be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore." Three. From the rising of the sun to is going down, the God's name is always glorified. So look, let's look at verse 3 of it. From the rising of the sun to is going down, the Lord's name is to be praised. Father, we praise you, we adore you. We reverence your holy name because you are God Almighty. In Jesus' name, amen. Beloved, let us go to verse 7. Psalm 113 verse 7, it says, he, ra he raises the poor out of the dust and lift the needy out of the ash heap. Praise the Lord. Father, beloved, you're going to cry to God to raise you out of dust and lift, the, and lift you up out of the ash heap. In the name of Jesus, oh God, my Father, raise my viewer out there from the dust and lift the needy out of the ash heap. In the name of Jesus, oh God, lift us up. Oh God, lift us up. Oh God, lift us up. Take us out of the dust and lift the needy out of the ash heap. In the name of Jesus, Father, lift us up. Father, lift us up. In the name of Jesus, lift my audience up. Lift my brothers and sisters up. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Beloved, we are still in the mood of praying. We're going to go to Psalm 114 verse 8. Psalm 114 verse 8 says, Who turned the rock into a pool of water, the fleet into a fountain of water? Who does that? God Almighty. Whatever is a rock in your life, tell God to turn it into a pool of water for you. The Lord will cast water out of your rock. Pray, beloved. Oh God, my Father, turn the rock into a pool of water for me. Turn the, the rock into a pool of water for my beloved ones. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, you are God Almighty. Deflate into a mountain of water. You are God. There's nothing you cannot do. Father, turn turn it all on. Turn the rock into a pool of water for my audience out there. For me, for my household. For my audience household. In the name of Jesus, deflate into a mountain of water. In Jesus' holy name, we pray. Amen. Beloved, we are going to Psalm 115 verse 2. Psalm 115 verse 2 says, Why should the Gentiles say, So where is their God? My brothers and sisters, you don't want enemies to ask you where is your God. Your God is always around you. So be in tune with your God. Oh God, my Father, do not allow my enemies to ask me where is my God. Do not allow my audience enemies to ask them where is their God. Our God is always with us. Evil things will not happen to us. Bad things will not happen to us for our enemy to question our God. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, keep us safe. Oh Lord, keep us safe. Keep our children safe. Keep our family safe. In the name of Jesus, keep my audience out there say in the name of Jesus evil will not happen to you Tro you will become trouble free in the name of Jesus your enemies will not have reason to ask to question your God they will not have reason in the name of Jesus he's well with you he's well with me he's well with our household in Jesus holy name we pray amen beloved we are going to go to Psalm 118 verse 10 Psalm 118 verse 10 
It says, all nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Amen. My brothers and sisters are there. No matter who is surrounding you, the Bible has assured you. In Psalm 1, 1, verse 10, New King James Version, it says, all nations, when they surround you, but in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the Lord, we will destroy them. So the Bible knows that there are people that will surround you. The Bible recognizes that there are enemies out there. But I assure you today, beloved, all those that have surrounded you, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will destroy them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will destroy them. All those surrounding us, prayer, beloved, all those who are surrounding us, all those that are putting trouble in our life, all those that say they will not let us go, all those that are changing our destiny to to, to evil. In the name of Jesus, we destroy all of them. In the name of Jesus, we destroy all of them. Beloved, pray this prayer. Pray for your family. Pray for yourself. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Pray for the belo your beloved one. There are en enemies out there. Enemies that do not let want to let you go. They have surrounded you. They are holding you captive. They are holding us captive. Everywhere they are holding us captive. Father, we, we use your name we, to destroy them. In the name of the Lord, we destroy them. Destroy them. Destroy them. They are not your friend. They don't want, they don't, they don't wish you well. All those that do not wish us well. In the name of Jesus, we destroy them. All those that are doing evil to us. All those that are holding us captive. All those that are saying we will not go scot free. Oh God, arise. Arise and destroy them. In the name of Jesus, we destroy them. 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 All evil monitor. All satanic power, all witches and wizards doing evil to all, all ritually, all occulted people doing evil to all. In the name of Jesus, we destroy them. In the name of Jesus, we destroy them. Destroy them, beloved. Destroy them. Destroy them. Do not give up. Rise up and pray. Destroy them. Because your God is, is for you. Your God is standing by you. Destroy them. Use the power of God to destroy them. No power can stand the power of God. Father, we destroy them. We shatter them. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. The next prayer point will be Psalm 118, verse 17. Psalm 118, verse 17 says, I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. That is what it is. We will not die. All those that wish us to die, they are liars. They will die our death. Pray that prayer, beloved. All those that wish me to die, all those that wish my, my uh, audience out there to die, they will die in our place. They will die. We will not die. They will be the one to die our death. In the name of Jesus, all those wishing us to die, Father, let them die our death. Let them die our death. All those wishing our beloved ones to die, let them die their death. In the name of Jesus, Father, destroy the in the name of Jesus, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, all evil power, all powerless power, all cutting power, all marine power, all altar of darkness, all kingdom of darkness that are planning evil for all. Father in heaven, destroy them. Destroy those evil power. All you evil power, I bring you down. I release the fire of God to consume all of you. In the name of Jesus, as many that have gone gone. In the physical, oh Lord, destroy them. In the spiritual, oh Lord, destroy them. In the name of Jesus, you destroy her. Be destroyed, be de destroyed. All those that want to kill us, Father, let them die our death. Until you call us home, oh Lord. No power has the right to take our life. All those that declare that uh, uh, they want to kill us. Father, destroy them. In the name of Jesus, Father, we will not die. We will live and declare the words of God in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus Christ, you powerless power, you satanic power, you power of darkness, I destroy you by the power in the blood of Jesus. I release the fire of God to consume all of you. In the name of Jesus, you evil doer, I command you to die our death. In the name of Jesus, my brothers and sisters that are head captives. In the name of Jesus, I release all of you. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. You those uh, holding them captive. I use the power of God to hold all our enemies captive. Whatever they have wished on, I send them back to sender. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. My brothers and sisters, continue to pray. 
When I pray, I trust you, my Lord. I trust you, my Lord. I trust you, my Lord. When I pray, I trust you, my Lord. I trust you, my Lord. I trust you, my Lord. My beloved brothers and sisters, when you pray, learn to trust God. Don't have a, a don't don't be a doubting Thomas. Don't have any doubt in your mind. When you pray, you leave it for Jesus and hold on to Him. Do not let let Him go. Be in tune with God. You your your enemies must surrender, whether they like it or not. If they don't surrender, God Almighty will do away with them in Jesus' name. Amen. Our next prayer point, brothers and sisters, is uh, on the book of Exodus 14:14. 14, 14. Exodus 14:14 14, 14 is a very popular one. The Lord will fight for you, fight for me, and you shall hold your peace. It's an assurance. God has already assured you. Don't trouble yourself. Don't kill yourself. Don't throw away your Bible. God is not a man that he should lie. God never lies. He has promised you. So keep on praying. Be a friend to God. Hold your Bible. Study your Bible. The Bible says pray without season. Where, whatever that you are going through, pray. Pray. When you can pray, enemy will surrender. They don't have a choice. Because prayer is the key. Prayer is the key, prayer is the key, prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayers and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master key. My dear brothers and sisters out there, prayer is the key. So let's pray this prayer. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold up peace. Pray, oh Lord, fight for me as you have promised, and hold my peace. Uh, 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 let me hold my peace. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, fight for me, oh Lord, fight for me, so that I can hold my peace. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, when you promise, you never fail. God never fail, my brothers and sisters. That's a promise. So pray, pray, pray. Let God fight for you. Every battle, sin and unseen, oh Lord, fight for me, oh Lord, fight for my children, oh Lord, fight for my grandchildren, oh Lord, fight for my family, oh Lord, fight for for my brothers and sisters out there, my viewers out there, their family, their beloved one, oh Lord, fight for them, oh Lord, fight for them, oh Lord, fight for them, so that they can hold their peace, oh Lord, fight for me, for, Father, fight for all, so that we can hold our peace, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Beloved, the title of this prayer is a benefits of praying. When you can pray, what are your benefits? One, the hand of God will never depart from you. Two, you will always be in tune with God. Three, the presence of God will always be there for you when you can pray. When you can pray and you trust God, no matter what your predicaments are, no matter what you are going through, no matter that witch or wizard, no matter the causes they put upon you, it will not, it will not come to pass. Because you have a father that is fighting for you. You have a father that will never leave you nor forsake you. But the only way you can do all these things is when you surrender all to God. Don't be, don't be going to church and still be going to all those fetish uh, 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 places. They don't have anything to give to you. They cannot, they cannot, they cannot help you. Power of darkness has nothing good to give to you. If they give you one, one little thing, they're going to take a big thing from you. You know? So when you trust God and believe Him, He will level all matters for you. Those are the benefits. God will always protect you. No power will fight you and succeed because you have a mighty man, a mighty man that can fight for you. It's a mighty God. The whole world bow before him. 
So every every month in your life, I command it to be leveled. In the name of Jesus, every month in my life, I command it to be leveled. Whatever Satan has put in our life that is not glorifying God, I cast them out and destroy them by fire. In the name of Jesus, I use the power of God to set you free. I deliver you. I deliver myself. I deliver our family. I deliver our children, our grandchildren. In the name of Jesus, my viewers out there, the righteous one out there, I deliver you by the power in the blood of Jesus. Even those that are not righteous yet, try and be righteous. Make God your friend. Make the Bible your friend. Go to a good a, a place, Bible church, and, and worship God. In Jesus' name, God will set you free. My brothers and sisters, for, the, for those that do not have Jesus, I don't know what you are living for when you don't have Jesus. So let us pray a sinner's prayer. Take God to deliver you. Pray after me. Oh God, my Father, I'm a sinner. Everything I have done that is not glorifying you. Father, have mercy on me. Father, transform me, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, help me to say bye-bye to, to sin. Let me take you as oxygen. I surrender all to you. In Jesus' name, amen. When you pray this prayer with me, go to a Bible-based church. Surrender all to God. Don't be a doubting Thomas. Keep the faith going. Don't be going to all those evil places again. It is God and God alone. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, your children have prayed with me today, King of Glory. Father, release your power into the world. In the name of Jesus, Father, set the captives free. Father, deliver all those that need deliverance. Every one of us need deliverance. Father, deliver, deliver our household, deliver our children, our family out there. Deliver my viewers out there. In the name of Jesus, all these prayer points that we have rendered before you, Father, let there be answer to all of them. In the name of Jesus, Father, hear the sick, O Lord, set the captives free. In the name of Jesus, all those that are in sick bed, especially in the hospital right now, Father, release your healing hands upon them. In the name of Jesus, sickness does not exist in your kingdom, and therefore heal your children, O Lord. Release healing, release your blood, blood of Jesus into the world. Set the world free, O Lord. Set us free, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus, because you are a wonderful God, because you have done this. Father, we appreciate you. Father, we give you glory. Father, we hide in you. In the name of Jesus, Father, protect those that will be drinking, oh Lord, this uh, period, oh Lord. Father, don't let the, their lives be taken. Protect their lives, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, change them, oh Lord, ch from evil habit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Beloved, I thank you. I'm your friend, Pastor Igbe Florence Oduwari of Martin of Glory Church. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.